we're actually at the end of nowhere. You've got to go through the middle of nowhere to get here. You've gone all the way through deepest, darkest wheels, the hills, mountains, everything, and then you've ended up here. I'm Gareth Ward, um, chef owner of the beautiful house behind us, in a sea restaurant with rooms. Didn't want to be a cook, but the only job that kind of came to mind was going into a kitchen. And then from there, really, I just fell in love with it. I remember the first time I walked into a Michelin star restaurant. I remember walking in the kitchen and thinking, oh my God, like the smells, the ingredients that you were seeing was like nothing you've ever seen before. We very much saw it as a restaurant with rooms right from the beginning rather than a hotel with a restaurant in it. People will travel anywhere for food, um, whatever time of year. It's kind of taking the very classic idea of a tasting menu and creating, instead of separate dishes, it's a whole journey from start to end. You've got a set menu, you've got 20 courses. This is not your everyday restaurant. You wouldn't come here for your tea three times a week. It's all about experience. You're not just going for a meal, you're going for a whole evening that you're looked after right from the moment you walk through the door, you're part of the Anasir experience. A bit like being at a gig. Loud music, loads of chefs bombing around, loads of food. They've got the first course, which is the not French onion soup. That's been from day one. You've got the Wagyu beef courses, salt rib on there with shiitake mushrooms and seaweed, that is unbelievable. You've got the mackerel dish with the wasabi and seaweed and stuff, which that will never go anywhere. In terms of the wine list, we're not doing wine pairings. We're going to just open up the whole list and let anyone have anything they want by the glass. People go on all the time, oh, you, you, you have a trained in Japan or something, never been. Well, I just say it's British food season differently, really. Meat is amazing, it's my favourite, you know. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm obsessed with, really. At the moment, I get Welsh beef and it's incredible. My lamb, I mean, my lamb comes from all over these hills next to us. And I can get it from three, four, five different people. Yeah, so the location forms literally everything. It kind of leads to the whole ageing processes, the storage processes, the fermenting, the foraging what's there. Things that we do forage are the really tasty things that I believe in. And they grow around us, which is, in, which is amazing. I haven't got to buy it from anybody, I can go and pick it. We've got birch trees around here, we tap them and make our own birch syrup. You're touching amazing ingredients, you know, you're trying to get the best flavour out of things. And it's, yeah, it's just obsessive. It's really, really obsessive. So if I'm enjoying myself and I'm giving 100%, then the customers are 99.9% .9 going to have a great time. It's very laid back. That's what it's all about for me.